Hello, y'all. I'm Erin, and this is going to be my first ever review of any boxes or anything. I'm hoping to start this rolling because there's so many young 20-somethings out there, and they're reviewing their boxes, and they're all like perfect, but make a bomb being perfect, McPerferton. And then you've got me, the 46-year-old. That's right. I love makeup as much as the last guy, but... You know, in the same reality, I don't have five hours to put my face on in the morning. I have maybe 30 minutes. I don't have no fancy schmancy hairdos because I have 30 minutes. And if I hit the snooze button, I've got 10 to 15. So, you're going to get real reviews from a real old lady like me talking about what we got going on and what I've gotten in the mail and my little box addictions and what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep because I'm not all about the frou, 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 but I am about the you, you, you. Um, started getting Ipsy about two years ago and I've been a religious Ipsy user. In the past few months, I started with BoxyCharm and I tried a FabFitFun box, which we'll go over in a couple days. Um, but my other one that I was actually excited about and then disappointed on was the Ricky's Cult Crush. Um, I really like eyeshadows. I love eyeshadows. I may not be perfect, and I may not do it the way the supermodels do it, but I like eyeshadows. I like to make my eyes look big. I like to make my lashes look longer. There's no way in heck I know what to do with this stuff. You put glue and you glue it to your eye. My luck, I'm going to glue my eyes shut. So they sit over here wait for my daughter to come visit because she's 19 and that's what they do. I wear glasses at night. When I go to work, I wear contacts. This is what I look like for work. Simple, normal, double chin. Not highlighted out the tush, anything like that. I have rosacea. Um, I have pretty severe rosacea. And I have an autoimmune disease that makes my nose run all the time and makes me have a dry mouth and makes my eyes dry. So I watch things for allergy reactions and I cover redness. I cover a lot of redness. Trust me, a lot of redness. In a future, future video, we'll be talking about that and you'll see that I look like Rudolph or somebody drunk. And that's not my intent. So today for the maiden voyage, we're going to review my first Ricky's and my last Ricky's box because uh, apparently they're no longer making them. I ordered this uh, August 24th. I got it last week. So we're talking September 28th. Thought I'd maybe get it around the boxy charm time, the ipsy time, but mm -mm, no, mm -mm, ain't happening. So, started thinking that maybe Mailman lost it. Mm -mm, no, ain't happening. Ricky's just as slow. So, it comes in this black box. Woo! Black box. And it says Ricky's Cult Crushes. Well, what was exciting about this to me is Ricky seems to be one of those companies that's priding themselves or priding their boxes on um, being unique. So, I thought maybe I get something that goes ba-bam and stands out. Unfortunately, no. This is what it comes out. You know, just like your boxy charm, you got your little bubble wrap. Boxy charm uses the little, little foamy stuff. Ipsy just shoves it all in an envelope and you go for it. But you got the little fluffies. You open it up and you've got a few items here. All right, so there it is. First item we got. It is a Kiss My Lip Patch. It's in Japanese. It's She's Lab Kiss My Lip Patch. Yeah, it says you need to put it, let me get the glasses up because again, I'm old. Um, cleanse the lips, open and paste the patch to match the lip shape. Leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes and then you tap in the remaining essence to absorb. All right, so 15 to 20 minutes. Do I have 15 to 20 minutes to stop yelling at my children? No, that goes over there. Okay, then we've got this, which is actually kind of cool. The Grande Stay Put Invisible Lip Liner. So you can use it with any color lipstick, keep it from bleeding, all that good stuff. 
Never had a lipstick bleed, but I barely keep lipsticks on, so I'll use this for when I get dressed up and gussied up. Okay. Then we go to number two is this NYX Lingerie, and this is the color Lip Lee 04. This is what I'm wearing right now. I actually like it. Um, I'm more of a reluctant to do mats because of my dry mouth issues, but this is actually really nice. It goes on very smooth. Ha! Ah. And it's a nice creamy matte color. Looks good. I think this would match any skin tone. Apparently I'm pale as snow, so you see it works well with me. I'm good with that. Um, on my eyes today, I am wearing colors from the Tarte Faith Dust and Pixie Dust, Faith Love and Pixie Dust or whatever. Oh, sorry. Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. Okay. I uh, went Tinkerbell. Clearly, Tinkerbell was not sanctioned on this. Okay. So, they had to change it up a little bit. So, today's colors that I use on my eyes, so you can know everything I have going on, is the big center color that I don't know the good name of. And then I used Flitter, Mystical, and Wish. Rubbed them in my creases, whatever it's done. I always use Kat Von D liquid liner. I don't care what her personal issues are. I don't care if she's crazy. I don't care if she's not. She make good makeup, okay? That's all I care about. I always use a Kat Von D liquid liner tattoo on my upper lashes. And I use my Urban Decay liquid, not liquid, but my uh, pencil black on my liner lashes. And I did line with some of the Tarte. Um, for my mascara, I really like this product. I got it in a box charm a few months ago, the Wander Unlashed. This is my go-to mascara. It makes me look like I have lashes when I don't. Amazing. Buy this, $24. Sephora, Wander, whatever. Worth it. It's organic, vegan, all that. If you care about the animals, I do. I love my animals. Cordelia is my princess. She knows that. And one day, you'll, Cordelia will come here and she'll be met. So, just shameless plug for Boxy for that one. Back to Ricky's. Last thing we got is L.A. Splash. Well, we're going to slide this bad boy out. And it is the Lumos. Ooh, Lumos. I open it up like a book. You got a little mirror. Mirror says, no amount of darkness can hide a sparkle of light. Okay, it's a highlighting palette. This looks like blush. This looks like highlighter. These look like contours or highlighter for darker skin. Well, let's see what we got for swatch and land. Because, you know, y'all folks want swatches, so I'll do swatches. A lot of fallout on this. A lot of fallout. Um, it's actually not, not too bad, but it's really... Absorbs into my skin because, well, get on pale as snow. Um, the Hex and the Illuminate look darker in the palette, but they go on with a more goldish, almost a bronzy look on the Illuminate and more of a goldy look on the Hex. And the Luminos is a, a silvery, traditional, what I would call traditional highlighter. And Jinx, it's kind of a pinky. I would be more willing to use that. Jinx, Luminous, Luminate, Hex. I would be willing to use the uh, Jinx more as a blush, honestly. And Luminous, I'm not a big highlighting girl. Again, I'm old. I don't need to look like I'm glowing or I've been sent from an alien spaceship. So, I'm going to send that. Probably end up going to my daughter, too. So, my choice on Ricky's is it took forever to come. It was some nice-looking stuff. Um, didn't really think it was worth the money, though. It was, you know, NYX. Yeah, you go to Walmart and buy it at Walmart. Okay, fine. Um, and I do skimp out on makeup sometimes and buy the cheap stuff. Who doesn't? Okay, because if you say you don't ever buy the cheap stuff, you're lying. You are a lying McLiarton. So, I buy it. I roll with it. I go from there. Um, so, I wouldn't really waste my money on Ricky's if, and I wouldn't have continued because it took so long to come. But, I'm sad to watch a company go, have something go under. It's not what you want in today's society, but 
maybe if it had been a little more on the ball, we could have kept it around. Apparently, the previous boxes were really great, but this one, man, I was like, eh. Uh, so now we'll be in the next week or so. I'll review my fall Fab Fit Fun box. Woo! And then we'll go into talking about my new Boxy Charm and my Ipsy when they get here. I've been very disappointed in Ipsy lately. Um, I don't think they're keeping up the standard that they initially set out to be. But we'll see. And hopefully I won't get any more darn moisturizers. I know I need to moisturize. Ipsy, please stop telling me. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you liked it from a fab fit not so fit 40 frumpy mom um i don't have to yell at my kids i don't have a gimmick i just tell you what i see i tell you the real world version of what i see and that's the whole shtick here i am a creature of habit i like things the way i like it and i don't sugarcoat anything so there you go peace love and fairy dust yes and i stole that from tinkerbell Y'all have a great day. I hope you maybe learned something from me. If not, whatever. But it ain't hurt nobody. It's, yeah, it ain't true if it ain't on the internet, right? All right. Bye, y'all. Talk to you next time.